Hello artist, it is Thursday, September 3rd, 2020. It's our 92nd day of making art together. We are nearing day 100 of the video series. And while it will be the end of the videos, it will not be the end of our art making together. We're just gonna start making art together. We're gonna get, um, we're gonna get busy making art together this fall. So I hope you'll come out and enjoy and enjoy and join in the art making that's going to happen around campus um, in each of the buildings. So I hope that you will participate. Uh, tomorrow is the Active Art Challenge uh, deadline. And I've told you for the last week, I would read some of the words and the words are in my work bag, which is not here in front of the computer. So um, let me think of some of the words. Um, fun, exuberance, um, vitality, energy, um, hmm, healthy living. Oh my gosh, the words go on and on and I don't want to give you the words because you have your own words for what uh, vitality means, what healthy means, what um, mental health, um, therapeutic mind changing, meditation, all kinds of words like that. So today, um, I want to remind you of that for anyone who wants to join in the active uh, art challenge due tomorrow. Um, you can uh, you can email me jennifer.bethel at oakwoodvillage.net. I think that's my email I haven't said in a while. jennifer.bethel, B-E-T-H-E-L, at oakwoodvillage.net. You can find me listed in the uh, directory as well under Art Therapy or Jennifer Bethel. And my studio number, or my, I'm sorry, not studio number, my office number is 230-4324. So give me a call if you need any help getting those images uh, to Alex. People, people have been passing them to me and then I've been taking them to Alex or sending them to Alex. So whichever works for you, getting them to Alex or getting them to me, or just reaching out and saying, how do I get these to you? I'm happy to help you do that. Okay, so this week we are looking at, in our 92nd day here, we are looking at stories or books that have inspired me through, the, through, my, through my time. But I'm hoping you're thinking about the books that inspire you because that's what these videos are really about. They're not about me. I'm just here on camera. And so I'm the one who has to be the voice and tell a story or talk about whatever the theme is for the day, but it's really about you. So I want you to find stories that you connect with and that inspire you to make art. And so one of the books that really has inspired me through the years is an art project called Post Secret. Now you may have heard about this project and you may have not, and I think it's just fantastic. And it really is a global art therapy project and created by Frank Warren. He's not an art therapist, but he certainly understands um, being alone and isolated and needing to reach out to other human beings, which is all of what art therapy is about, telling your story, getting it out there. So I just wanna re read to you his introduction here in this book. It says, in November, 2004, I printed 3,000 postcards. They look just like this. Oops. Oops, can you see it? Just like this. It's really an index size postcard. This is the postcard. I got this from Frank Warren. Um, he printed 3,000 postcards inviting people to share a secret with me. Something that was true, something they had never told anyone. I handed out these cards at subway stations. I left them in art galleries and I slipped them between the pages of library books. Then slowly, secrets began to find their way to my mailbox. After several weeks, I stopped passing out postcards, but my secrets kept coming. Homemade postcards made from cardboard, old photographs, wedding invitations, and other personal items artfully decorated arrived from all over the world. Some of the secrets were written in Portuguese, French, German, Hebrew, and even Braille. One of the first post secrets I received looked like nothing more than a worn postcard filled with two shopping lists, but squeezed into the corner was a soulful admission. I am struggling with what I've become. Like fingerprints, no two secrets are identical, but every secret has a story behind it. 
From the clues on this card, I imagine that the person, person had an internal struggle about sharing the secret. It was so difficult that they tried to use up the postcard as a shopping list twice, but the urge to reconcile with a painful personal truth was so strong that they were ultimately, that they were ultimately able to find the courage to share it. And he goes on, I'll skip some of what he says, but he goes on, we have all have secrets, fears, regrets, hopes, beliefs, fantasies, betrayals, humiliations. We may not always recognize them, but they are a part of us, like the dreams we can't always recall in the morning light. Some of the most beautiful postcards in this collection came from very painful feelings and memories. I believe that each one of us has the ability to discover, share, and grow our own dark secrets into something meaningful and beautiful. Frank Warren. Okay, so to date, he has, uh, I think, close to a million postcards that have come to his home. So who, what artist gives out their personal address? He does. Post secret, 13345 Copper Ridge Road, Germantown, Maryland. Zip code is 20874-3454. Now, this right here itself is one of the postcards used as the book cover. Here are more on the back. And they come, the male person brings, to, brings them to him in bundles and they are wrapped in, in string. And he has bundles and bundles and bundles stacked to, the, to his ceiling filled with these postcards. And he has made it his life work to read each of these artfully done postcards. He publishes them in books. He has a weekly blog where he posts seven. It's called um, Sunday Secret or something like Sunday Blog. I'm not sure what it's called. Sunday, some, Sunday Secret, I think. Sunday Post Secret. And he posts seven each week of new arrivals. And, uh, and then he takes these on art shows around. And it's not because he wants to promote himself. It's that he wants to promote that we are all human we all have weaknesses, we all have fears, and we all have a sh story to, to, to tell and a story that can tear us apart till the very end. And so if we let go of that, if we share a bit of that and someone else can um, see their story in our story, then maybe our healing can begin. So I wanted to share with you, I've done post secrets. I'm not gonna share one of my secrets. I've got secrets and I've let go of secrets. I'm not going to share one of my secrets, and I've never had a secret in here published, but people out there have. And so I wanted to share a few of the postcards uh, and read a couple of them to you. These are really personal, very personal stories, very personal experiences from people's lives. This one simply says, I'm terrified of not existing. This one down here in the corner that's a little bit tie-dyed. I believe I will accomplish something truly great in this lifetime. I am going to be 53 tomorrow. I like this one too. I am so grateful to the psychiatrist I saw when I was 19 who told me I would be fine again. He saved my life. There's one in here that says, sometimes I want to run away from home. I'm 38. Married with a child. This one I can, a lot of younger people I know might be able to connect to, to this one. I make up fantasy stories because my real life sucks. And now my fantasy life is starting to suck too. This one here is in Braille. Oh, and it says, God is the only one who loves me. No one else on earth does. This one up here says, I still love you. Oh, this one in crayon says, 
I love one of my children. says, I leave poetry in library books. This one down here has a doll with a band-aid over its mouth and a tear in its eye and it says, I love you so much but I can't tell you. This one up here has some um, very blank looking uh, heads drawn with different hairdos and it says, I change my hair so often to make up for the fact that I won't be able to change who I am. We're always changing, I think. We're not always able to identify that we're changing, but we, we are. It doesn't always feel like that inside for many of us. There's some silly ones in here too. Well, maybe not so silly to the person who wrote them, but I like to, oh, here's one. I gave my vegetarian sister a meal with beef. Uh oh. This one says, I love to pee when I'm swimming. Hmm. And then this one from Ohio is one that he typed here. It says, Dear Frank, and actually, this is probably their postcard, typed big like this, and then that's the way he printed it in here. Dear Frank, how I wish I could hug everyone and tell them that it's okay. It's okay to be scared and angry and hurt and selfish. It's part of being human. So we all hurt, we all ache, we all need, we all feel, and we all need someone to reach out to. So let art do that for you. Let art be that way to express yourself. If you are interested in reaching out through a postcard to Frank Warren, no one will ever know that you sent it. You can make this, send it at any post office or drop it in the box here on campus. Um, I'll leave some of these around campus and see if anyone, if anyone takes them and what happens. Okay, happy art making and keep expressing yourself through the power of art. See you tomorrow.